Hello everybody, in today's video I'll be reviewing this puzzle lock from Puzzle Master. I got this a few years ago and I finally dug it out so I could show you guys. Now I also reviewed this puzzle right here and this is on my other channel, Crazy Bad Cuber. Uh, go ahead and check that out, links in the description or at the end of the video, click the annotation and check that out. This one is much more complicated than that, that's a single key one, this one is a four key one. That one took me 10 minutes or so to solve and this one took me a lot longer in order to solve this one. This one has many tricks up its sleeve. It has four keys. We do use all four of them. And you gotta try to figure out how to open this lock. Now, I'm not sure. Uh, I believe a long time ago I read that these were made in India. I don't see that on the website anymore, so I'm not 100% sure where they are, but my, that's my recollection is that these are uh, made in India. Now, these are quite expensive compared to other puzzle locks out there, but you're getting what you pay for. This is very, very high quality. I don't know exactly the type of metal, but I can tell you it is very, very heavy, very sturdy. You could probably drop this thing off a building and it wouldn't break. Don't do it. I'm just saying that's my opinion. <laughs> so as far as this thing goes, we got uh, one keyhole here. We don't see anything else. It will not open. It is locked. I see we got all sorts of patterns along the side, which look really, really nice. Um, some of them look like they may be able to move, but it could be that there's just too much of a gap between them. I'm not sure. Underneath them, we have some more of these things, which are really cool. At the bottom, we have this stem that sticks out, and uh, that could actually hurt you, I bet, if you hit yourself hard enough with that. Um, so don't do that. At the bottom, it is uh, squared off, as you can see on the sides, and then comes to a point right there. Um, Really, really nice looking lock though, very sturdy. Now as for the keys, there are four keys. These keys uh, look really, really nice. And you can see that there are three keys that have the same design on the handle of the key and one has a different design, which is a square. And uh, that was the very first thing I noticed about this when I got them. Now as far as the keys go, there is a very small little end piece on one, then there's a bigger piece. Uh, and then we have a square and then we have a circle with a thread. It looks like there's a thread inside of there. Very nice set of keys. Um, very well made. Nice metal. So I'm going to kind of bring you through my process of this the very first time I got it and then show you how it's done with a spoiler alert, which you can skip if you would like to not know how to do it, but see my final opinion on it. All right. So... Obviously the square one and the circle one ain't gonna fit in here, so we're gonna try this one, and this was my very first one. It goes over about 180 degrees, and then it stops. Nothing is opening. So let's try the other one, which is this one right here, and see if that one will do anything. It's got a little bit of a bigger part, and it won't even turn in any direction. So now I'm like, okay, I'm gonna scour this to see if there's a hidden keyhole that I can't find. I'm gonna pull on it, I'm gonna twist it both directions and not worry about it breaking because it feels so strong in my hand as well. Um, seeing if any of these little um, sculpted pieces are gonna move and slide around. I don't see that. This one here kind of looks like it might slide around, but not from other angles. So this one here looks solid. That's solid, solid, solid. This thing here does have a line right here, so it looks like this can twist, and it is square, like I said, so I try the square one, but it's not really that big to go in there. I can't, I can't really do anything. It just kind of twists and bounces over each of the edges of it, and it's not really helping at all, and I can't use pliers. I gotta like figure something out um, just using what I have, and this key, the hole, is just too small. I've tried it and I was worried I was gonna bend this so I stopped. What can I do here? Nothing is working. It starts to get aggravating. <sighs> Until you take a breath and then you calm down and you go, okay, a puzzle cannot make me this upset. There's gotta be a logical explanation to this. And there is, and this brings us to our spoiler. So now I'm going to show you exactly how to take this thing apart. If you don't want to see it, skip to this part, this time frame in the video, and you'll skip the whole spoiler back to a solved puzzle and see my final thoughts about it. All right, so one thing we have to do, look at the keys. Like I said, one of them is different. Three of them have this shape on there, and then one of them has a square shape on there. But what were we just trying to do with a square shape 
that uh, we couldn't do here. And that was to twist this because the only thing I see on this puzzle that can move is this piece here. So I thought, look at that. That is a perfect key. And then I can twist. And as you can see, this now comes out. So from here, I was like, wow, okay, so that, I don't think this has anything to do with the puzzle, put that away. Now we have a circle, so let's get the circle one. And I put this thing in, and, and it's too, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna thread in or anything, it's, it's too big. Okay, so what else? These obviously are too, uh, too small, so let's just try the square again. So we try the square again, oh, and it fit in, and this time we can spin, and as we do this, you'll see this part start coming up, the top part. And we just keep doing that. And look at that, there's another keyhole exposed. So I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere. This can come back out, look this way. There's another keyhole, this one's round this time. So let's put the round one in. And we can twist this all the way in. And I expect something to happen but nothing happens. I, I think I'm pulling something, it locks up on me. Okay, that's it. So what I'm gonna try here now is the big one. Let me just get these keys here. Let's try the one with the big one because this is another one we don't have. Put it in here. This turns 180 degrees and locks and stays. So let's try the other one and put it in here. And this one also does 180 degrees, locks and stays and now the puzzle can be opened. And in this state, it looks really nice. It looks really nice with all the keys in there. The clasp is now open. The string is running through, which is also a very, very nice, high quality string, by the way. It's got a lot of colors to it, which really adds to the old school look and, you know, look and build of this puzzle. And it just looks really nice with all three of the keys in there with the other one hanging down. And, uh, I can't say anything better about the quality of this puzzle. So again, to take to put it back together, you take the puzzle, take this one out, take this one out, unscrew this. Oh, I guess I gotta put that in there, don't I? There we go. That's done, that's done. This is done. Bring this, close this back up. Yeah, these keys on my table are making so much noise. Let's keep going. There we go. How about that? That's done. Put this back on and tighten it up with this. There. Now this puzzle has been reset back to um, the way it was before. Anyways, guys, so this is a really nice puzzle. I think I paid over $100 for this. It's just over $100, I believe. There are many variants of this, three keys as well. Each, time, each variation is a little bit more expensive or less expensive than the other. This one was about a medium one, I think, as far as these ones go, which is why I got it. Anyways, guys, you can get this at puzzlemaster.ca. There's a link in the description to this puzzle, purely just this puzzle, or you, there's another one as well, which will bring you to the entire metal locks section. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys on my next video.